All right, so boys and girls, Addison and I are on the walk. She's doing the video. Say hi, Addison. Hi. All right, so I told you, we've got these neighbors. They never come out of their house. Their garage is always shut. Shades are always down. I want to know what's going on in there. So it's garbage night. So I'm going to take a bag of their garbage. I'm going to bring it to school. We'll open it up. We'll see what's inside. We'll try to figure out what's going on with these people. All right, so I'll see you at All school. All right, so boys and girls, I know you saw the first part of the video. Miss Perez did not. So, Ms. Perez, do you know what this is? I don't. What is it? It's a bag of garbage, which is what? a little weird to have, right? Mm-hmm. Well, it's going to get weirder because this bag of garbage came from uh, a house on my street. Now, you might be thinking, why in the world would you have someone else's garbage? Mm -hmm. Pretty much. That's because I'm an eccentric fella. I like to check things out. No, the real reason is there's these people on my street, and they never come out of their house. Their windows are shut. Their garage door is shut. Their shades are shut. Shades are shut. I have no idea what goes on. I don't know if there's kids. I don't know if there's a, a husband and what. I have no idea who lives there. And I kind of was curious because I want to, I'm a friendly guy. I like to like know people and say like, hey, welcome to the neighborhood sort of thing. Okay. So I took a bag of their garbage. You took a bag I of borrowed a bag of their garbage. I borrowed a bag of their garbage. And I thought what we could do, it'll... I thought what we could do is like pull out some of the items. Oh. And if you look up here, oh relax. I'll put my gloves on. I got special gloves. I wrote some words. So I'll say and you say them. Ready? All right. Evidence. Evidence. Inference. Inference. Schema. And schema. So it's kind of like a math problem when you make an inference. You take the evidence. The evidence is the thing you see, right? Maybe it's, if we pull out, for example, if we pulled out a bag of dog food, we could, our, our schema tells us, well, dogs eat dog food, so they probably have a dog, mm -hmm. right? And we would, we would make that inference. So we're going to start pulling items out. We'll come right back, and it's going to get a little weird. I'm going to put my gloves on, and you're going to help us kind of figure out what's in here. Okay. All right? All right, so I've got my special gloves on, and I'm going to start pulling out items. Okay. Oh. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, first one. You know what that is? You know what that is? A pacifier. Pacifier. Now, let's talk for a minute. So that's our evidence. It's a, it's a pacifier. Okay, what do you know about pacifiers? I know that babies suck on them when they're really little. Yes. So, okay, let's think. Okay, I also see pink, purple, and like kind of like a darker pink. Does it have to mean girl? But like my first thought was a girl baby. Girl, yeah. Now, let's talk. Why might a pacifier end up in the garbage? Now, I had two daughters. I mean, I do have two daughters, but when they were little... Um, once in a while, like if they got like old and gross, we throw them out. This one doesn't seem too old and gross. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe like they have an animal and that got on it or, or, or maybe they got old enough where they didn't need this anymore. Mm -hmm. So our inference is then we found a, a pacifier, but we probably guess that they have a baby girl. Yeah. Or at least a little girl mm -hmm. that, that's a girl. Okay. All right. We're going to write this on our T-chart. We'll come right back to show you. All right. So we filled in our T-chart here. Our evidence was that we had, where is that pacifier? Oh, well, here it is. The evidence was we have a pacifier that's a pink one, right? So my schema, our schema told us that babies use them and that pink and purple usually, not always, but usually are, uh, would mean a girl toy or a girl pacifier. So our inference, Miss Perez, was what? That they have a daughter. So that's our inference. We don't know that's correct, but that's what we're thinking. I mean, it's very well possible they could have just found it in their yard. Mm -hmm. A baby threw it for a walk. Maybe they don't have a kid at all. But let's keep diving in for some more evidence. You ready? Yep. Okay. Uh, goldfish. Talk to me. What do you know about goldfish? It's a bag of goldfish. It even says baby on it. Yeah, the little, they're little ones. Now, so they're little goldfish. I know that my little cousin eats goldfish. Yeah, my daughters both, they, they love goldfish. Hmm. Kids in my class, they'll sometimes have goldfish. Okay. Okay, so what we're thinking is... Is this is this making us think less that they have a kid or more that they have a kid? I would say more. I think so too because we see a pacifier and now we've got a bag of goldfish. All right, we're gonna fill in our next part on the T chart. We'll come right back. Okay, so Miss Perez and I were just talking, and our evidence was there's a bag of goldfish. She talked about how her cousins who are kids like to eat them. I talked about how my daughters who are kids like to eat them, and I talked about how the kids in my class like to eat these. And we kind of made an inference. We thought maybe a baby, but why do we think, why do we land on toddler? Because they have to be able to chew these goldfish. Okay. Babies don't typically have teeth yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like this. So probably a daughter and probably at least a toddler, like a little older, which would be cool. You know, I got two daughters. Maybe they even want to help her out or play with her. All right, let's see what we got next. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh. 
Look at that. Mm. A scholastic book order. Scholastic book order. Seesaw. I use seesaw in school. Okay. What do you know about book orders? I know that we have them here at Hillview. Yeah. Kids get them when they're in what? When they're in school. Yeah. So, okay. Now this is where we're going to write. We'll do this one live. So the evidence for this one is a scholastic order. And like Miss Perez just said, so I'll write scholastic order. Like Miss Perez just said, she said she knows kids get them in school, right? I pass them out to my kids here, usually kids that are beginning to read books. So again, would that make us think baby or a little kid or maybe a little bit older? I would say a little bit older. All right, so our inference might even start changing. So we're going to say probably a school age kid, right? It could be preschool, but it could be first grade, it could be second grade or even beyond. All right, let's look at our next piece of evidence. Uh, what's it say? Paws premium guinea pig food. Guinea pig food. Okay, what's your brain do right away when you're thinking about this? They have a guinea pig. Okay, they have a guinea pig. Great guess. When I open this uh, guinea pig food, you'll notice it is empty. Okay, that can mean a few things. Like they just fed him and then eventually they ran out of food so they tossed the bag or whatever. Mm -hmm. Could they? Could they though? Maybe they were watching a friend's guinea pig. Mm -hmm. Like that's possible too. Right, so again, you make inferences. You take the evidence, you take your schema, what you know, and you make a guess. I agree with you, though. I think they probably have a guinea pig. Here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna show you the rest of the evidence, and I'm gonna make a page, actually, that you're gonna fill in, just like this. And you're gonna write down two more things that you see in this bag, and you're gonna try to make your very own inference. We'll talk about these as we pull them. So here's the next one, Ms. Perez. This is a... Barbie babysitter. Uh, here's the back of the box. So it's, it's obviously garbage, but it was a Barbie babysitter. So talk to me. What do you think when you see this? I would have to go back and say that they might have a daughter. Could be boy, could be, could yeah, be a girl. Could yeah. be. Could no, be. but you're right. Totally. It makes me think. My first thought was daughter, too. Yep. Um, Even looking at the pictures on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I see a lot of young girls with the Barbie dolls. You know what my brain's doing? And I don't know if your brain's doing it or yours is. I'm starting to think maybe more than one kid. Like yeah. maybe there is a baby, but maybe there's also a kid in like first or second grade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay, let's see what else. Okay. Some Ritz snackers. Yeah. Uh, I put those in my daughter's lunch before. Again, makes me think school age, you know, for kids old enough to eat food. All right. And Annie's uh, mac macaroni and cheese. And cheese. Ooh, my favorite. Again, I love mac and cheese. She loves mm -hmm. it too. Doesn't have to mean a kid, but a lot of times who eats macaroni and cheese? Kids. You got it. Okay. Uh, oh, mozzarella uh, cheese, cheese sticks. A bag of cheese sticks. Again, I like cheese sticks. Maybe you like cheese sticks, but also I know kids love cheese sticks. Uh, huh. Aura Gel Training Toothpaste. This is tooth. I remember this when my, my girls were young. It's like, it's like very safe, gentle toothpaste that kids can use before they really know how they have to like brush and then spit. Mm -hmm. And so, hmm, I wonder why you throw out the toothpaste. Why might you throw out toothpaste? Let me think. Maybe they got old enough where they didn't, they didn't need it anymore. I mean, it's, it's a little empty. I guess they could have just thrown it out because it was empty. Again, though, what's on the cover here? We got a... We got a unicorn on there. And again, my little pony. Again, I know it could be boy or girl, but my, my brain's going, my brain's going daughter, going girl. Mm -hmm. All right, last thing I got in here. Oh, interesting. A birthday hat. Oh, look what it says. 40. Okay, huh. A birthday hat that says 40. So what is your brain there doing? I would say that they, that one of the parents just had a birthday party and they're 40 years old. That makes they sense. They just turned 40. And I'm 39. I'm going to be 40. Gosh, I feel like I would have a lot in common with these people. Yeah. Maybe you should talk to them. I'm trying! Instead of just going through their garbage. Listen. <laughs> This was a necessary thing. So now I, I did a little reconnaissance mission. I'm learning stuff. So listen, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the evidence. I'm going to put them on the desk. I'm going to take a picture for you. At home, your job is to pick two pieces of the evidence. I'll show you how to do this. But you're going to pick two pieces of the evidence, just like we did. They're going to write down what the evidence is, and they're going to make their very own inference. So for example, if you see cheese sticks, maybe your brain goes, hey, I have cheese sticks at my lunch. I think it's a kid who's, a, who's in school. You know, when you see the 40th birthday hat, maybe you think the mom just turned 40. Maybe the dad just turned 40, right? Who knows? Who knows? 
But uh, a fun little activity. Listen, it's not a crime to borrow garbage. I'm gonna. It's, 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 it's debatable. I'm gonna return it. I'm gonna return it. But I thought this was a fun activity to learn some things about the people in my neighborhood by making inferences. Let me give you an example of an inference that you can make that you probably do sometimes. You know me well enough. Mm -hmm. Usually I'm upbeat, positive guy, right? Let's just pretend you're walking in to school and you see me down the hallway and you go say, say good morning, Mr. Duty. No? Yeah, right now. Good morning, Mr. Duty. Hey. Mm. What happened? Your tone changed. I wasn't the happiest. No, you weren't very so happy. So maybe in your brain, you start to think what? Maybe something's... Uh, maybe something's wrong or you're having a bad day. Right, and then you can make that inference. And then that inference helps you figure out how to, how to move forward. Sometimes your inference is wrong. It happens, right? Like, there's been times that uh, my daughter is real moody, and I think it's something I did to her. I, I upset her. And it comes out like it was something silly, like like she lost on her Fortnite game. You know what I mean? Like sometimes our inferences are wrong, but sometimes our inferences are right. Uh, so what I'm going to do is this: I'm going to put the evidence out for you to see. I'll take pictures, and then I eventually am going to return this garbage, and I'm going to try to meet those people, and I'll tell you about them to see if our inferences are right. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. See Bye you in guys. the garbage.